Are we? I hope we do. I really hope we do. Oh, God. Don't show me that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we got to wonder kind of, I wonder where counter picks are going to be going, but game one is starting us off. Uh, why not? Battlefield again. <laughs> Tri-State Classic, <laughs> even though there is not a single Tri-State player in this pool. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Ben is very good at making these kind of crouch wait and just good decisions off tech chase. Probably could have just grabbed ledge there to wrap it up, but, but extended it a little it. bit further. I think the needle was really good, as, honestly, as well, to extend the edge guard and keep oh my none God. of this advantage. And I think the bear might have been. Able to He's oh! nuts. He's so good. The bear into the reverse turn. The ben turn is the best quarter. player. Ben is so good at this <laughs> game, and none needs him off stage. And like we were saying before, if you send Sheik off, it's they're probably going to die. Yeah, so. but uh, really good using the proof to get back on stage safely and doing another one of these disgusting combos and sending on this juggle situation. We can't really get out. And the needle again. Oh, my oh! God. And the down smash. Wait, Ben's on fire, Ben is man. playing amazing right now. I mean, he's been grinding literally all day practicing, so I'm not surprised that he's doing well, but... Does him do this well? That's crazy. Yeah, big recovery. None needs to find this right now. It's going to be a stomp, but what comes after when you're at that high percent? And when you DI off stage that far. <laughs> okay, right. a little bit confused, I think, on the follow up there, but he still makes but it yeah, work. Yeah, this is. He's going to die for this. Big. Yeah, none might be dead. Yeah, none's dead. Is none getting four stocked? That is. Yo, if you don't know who Ben is, you know him now. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Not, ben is going to be around for a while. If you don't make know, sure you know now his name. you know. Maybe. This, the game's not over yet, technically, but... I mean, it's not, but like... <laughs> okay, edge guard situation. No really? roll up, just forward tilt, and yeah, what? all right. I actually looked away for a second. Did you just run off? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was like, how did Ben do this? He's working his magic, the mind, the Zelda mind control tricks. Killed know? from the star KO. Killed <laughs> from the star KO. All right, Ben on the board first, none. Playing from behind, counter picks to Stadium. Pokemon Stadium, pretty standard counter pick in this matchup. You like having more space, uh, being able to tech chase on the side platform and get like down throw in a knee, up throw in a knee, etc. So you also like the transformation thing as Falcon. I feel like they, they favor you pretty well and make Sheik have to jump, and you don't really want to be in the air of Sheik in this matchup a lot of the time. Yeah, that's true, but I, you know, it kind of begs the question of why Stadium and not FD, if that's the case. I think he's might be saving it for later, because sure. FD is definitely the pick to go to, but knees from ledge and takes the stock. He was on literally the other side of the stage and just died. Okay, yeah, Nun kind of looking like he's returning back to a little bit of the form, maybe getting a little bit warm now. But, I mean, it all starts to get stifled as soon as Ben finds a grab. Yeah, it's just really, really brutal if you can hit these tech chases as Sheik. You can just deal so much damage oh off the of one grab. That was so smart. He waited for a shield drop a shield uh, drop as well. Yeah, and the four tilt bear just sends off stage and kills. Really patient dash dance from Nun to just be able to get the knee out and take the stock so quickly. Like... Really, really good stuff. Like making Ben have to whip out these tilts. Oh my God, he re he read jump too. I mean, a little bit higher percent. None could have potentially died, but because he was so low, now Ben has to do a bit more execution here. And it's working out pretty well for him. Down the smash, down smash, smash to anti -air. The down, So the down smash anti air and sent to the platform above, so he was able to tech this on the top <laughs> platform. That was so smart. That was crazy. And it worked out. Okay. Yeah, and, and for as much praise as we've sung about Nun kind of being the one to remix a lot of these uh, these decision trees and everything, Ben's kind of making some wacky decisions as well. Maybe it's throwing Nun off. And, I mean, it's working out really well for him. And like I was saying before, the tech chases with the knee on the side platform are just so devastating for Sheik. Down smash so hard wow. to punish out of shield. Nun finds the grab up I want to point out, also, Nun literally just ran underneath Ben's Nair <laughs> with no fear whatsoever and got center stage off of that. Like, if, if there's a Falcon to do something like that, it's it's not. Yeah, dude, Ben has just been reading jumps every time. It looks like whenever Nun gets put into a bit of a pressure situation, he just tries to jump towards center and Ben's waiting for it. And I think Nun was ready too, because I think in that situation, like he's understanding that Ben's reading these jumps. So like he knew that Ben would shield on the side platform in that situation and try to like bait out the aerial out of the shield jump aerial or aerial. And then Nun just went in and upbeat it. Yeah, as we speak, though, even Stevens on the set count. Nun evens that one right back up. And I guess to your point, he does have the FD counter pick in the back now. So where are we going? Ready, go! 
Yoshi's story. Yoshi's, yeah. So, it's really a standard counter pick in this matchup. You have a lot less space as Falcon to run around with, and you get quicker kills as Sheik if you're able to like throw off stage faster. So, it makes sense. Great crouch okay. catch on the back here, by the way, to reverse situation and start a tech chase situation. And following this one up tremendously right now, able to get into two pummel range as well to tack on a little bit more damage. Yep. I'm liking how Ben's reacting and being, uh, he has so much time on these tech chases to like cover one option and then like turn around and grab another option. It's like, it doesn't matter what none goes for, he's just covering or trying to cover everything and it's yeah. working out super well. Ben first on board. Yeah, the runoff with the fair, just really, really good stuff. Great understanding of this matchup. I know for a very long time, Ben talked about hating the- Oh, he- Randall he giveth, I don't think he <laughs> But, yeah, like, for a very long time, Ben talked about disliking this matchup and had a very negative record against all of the top Falcon players and put a lot of work into it. And you can tell, like, his punish game against Falcon is- an edge guard game against Falcon is so good, but yeah, that is rule that number was... one against Falcon, though. Do not spot dodge in the face of death like that. Yeah, you can take so much damage and lose his stock at basically any percent like we just saw. Do not spot dodge against Falcon like that if you want to live. Okay. Air dodge is on the cloud, but Ben is prepared and is probably going to take this time. Ooh, great drift back off of the air dodge to get back to legend. Oh! <laughs> Risk, going for it all. Risked it all. You always bond on the stage right I now? I respect that. Okay. Cloud messing up. Yeah, they're both kind of getting a little sweaty with Randall coming around. Okay. Up air to send off, or after the sending yeah, off stage. Yeah, he caught jump with that up air, yep. Ooh, yeah. So none up a stock on the counter pick. Ooh, yeah, a little overextension on the dash attack, and then Ben has position now. I like how Nun waited out the uh, aerial from ledge and tried to back her to whip it, and even though it didn't hit, Nun still maintained center stage and was on. What? What? <laughs> what? what? Who are huh? you? Okay, he need. I, I wish he finished that. Yeah, that was <laughs> crazy. He like read the di three times in a row. I mean, it's tough too. Like, what do you do in what, that position? Yeah, like, right, you, you're if, trying to find ledge. Yeah, <gasps> that cloud has done oh so God. much for both of these players this game. What? I gotta stop looking down. Okay, so <laughs> oh my God, Nun was off stage and jumping up aired. Ben was doing the thing where because he, he was Ben has been running off stage and fairing Nun mm -hmm. repeatedly. So Nun knows that Ben's gonna do this. Ben runs off stage to aerial. Nun's up air hitbox hits first, and Ben gets stage plug. He's not prepared for it. Oh my. Okay. Well, Ben down now. A game needs to get two unanswered. But, and oh my god, when you start Nun's like that. Nun's getting two knees on Anthard. And takes the first stock so quickly. 15 seconds into the game. That is not the start you want to see from Ben. But if you're a Nun fan, you are eating well tonight. Waits out the spot dodge and gets a grab. But oh, doesn't get, no. oh my god, what are you doing, Nun? Yeah, and this is something that gets me a little bit nervous when I see uh, Ben up against really, really fast-paced players like this. Is it almost feels like he's starting to get out-tempoed now, and he doesn't have a way to slow down the pace again. And it's like, one of the really good things about Ben's play overall is how fast he is and how like precise a lot of his actions are. But if you're just getting outsped, it's so hard to get a comeback on, especially when you get hit with up air and a knee like that. Full stock lead to the Falcon. Ben needs to find something here, but he does not CC both hits there. Ooh, and then messes up a shield drop into presumably a forward air. Yeah, no, Ben needs to land. He's been stuck on the top of these platforms and just getting caught so much. And none is running away with this. Just tries to reverse Can knee. Oh, he he lives that too. Yeah, I think if Ben got that ledge regrab, that could have been a very different story. Still kind of keeping advantage, though, regardless. None fighting back from ledge. And that reverses? That's and, enough to kill. Yeah, and Ben's even it up. I... I like the mix up of falling through the platform and trying to F tilt to get a uh, Ben off stage. I feel like a lot of Sheiks would have fallen for that. Ben was ready for that. Mm -hmm. So good stuff to him. Good awareness. Master recover. Oh, <gasps> clips with oh, needles. That's huge. Wait, that is huge. That could be a big edge guard. But none lands on the side platform, or edge cast on the side platform. Expect to stage safely. And Nun is doing such a good job at avoiding these, like, aerials near the ledge, either runoff or from the ledge. Mm -hmm. So just really, really good awareness from Nun overall. I don't think he meant to do that. I think he meant to up smash. The Looking second up air to kill off the side. Crazy. Okay, Ben needs this. He did not he, expect yeah. Nun to dip that low. Yeah. And thanks to Falcon being able to recover, even when turned around, you're able to get, like, these crazy recoveries like that. And... 
All of a sudden, oh, Ben is DI off stage. And that's oh, that's probably do nah, it. Nah, you didn't cover ledge. You, you have the mix up, the ambiguous DI. Oh, you can ambiguously go back to stage there. And Ben is doing the most. What? He's not doing enough, Gen X. It wasn't enough. What a, rever a reversal after reversal after reversal is what we saw that set. And none with the final reversal. Knees and takes the set over Ben. After what was a crazy game one, good stuff to none.